Hey, what's up guys? Just a quick update today. Definitely subscribe, like, and all that stuff. Anyway, let's get into today's video. So we just have a quick update from MinSpark Zhang. If you guys remember from last week's video, he was working on an exploit to get root on iOS 12.1.2, but at the time, during his second proof of attack, uh, he only got it working on the iPhone 6s and below. But basically, his terminal screenshots right here went in to show that he actually did get root read and write privileges. Well, today we have an awesome update from him and the second developer that he was working with. He says, A12 core with PAC, not a problem for POP or port-oriented programming. So if I click on this tweet, this was first tweeted out by his partner that he's working with. Basically, he got task for PID0 on iOS 12.1.2 on the iPhone XS Max, of course, with the latest processor being the A12. Anyway, if we click on his photos, you can basically basically see that it is indeed a 10s max on iOS 12.1.2 and right here it says getting root and he successfully achieved that right there with the line right below it get UID equals zero so that is basically what I wanted to share with you guys more awesome news about more security research developers getting task for PID zero and creating exploits for iOS 12.1.2 on the latest Apple flagship devices now with this being the case in this particular case, I guess. Um, unfortunately, MinSpark Zhang is a well-known security research developer. He is a part of the Alibaba team. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because most likely in the future and from past experiences, he's never released his research to the public, probably because he's working with his actual company to create these exploits. So with that being the case, like always, do not update to iOS 12.1.2 after hearing this news. I'm really surprised we didn't see iOS 12.1.3 be released today, but that could be coming later this week, if not very first thing Monday morning as of next week. Anyway guys, definitely stay on the lowest version of iOS 12 that you can if you want to jailbreak in the near future. Basically I wanted to share this news with you guys, even though it doesn't really mean too much for us immediately, basically this proves that it is possible to jailbreak and to exploit the latest flagship Apple devices on Apple's latest firmwares. Again, we might have some major exploits being released here in the near future by sorry my bad once Apple actually patches them. So I'm very interested and I'm very excited to see what is in the release notes of iOS 12.1.3. Hopefully sorry my bad's exploit is mentioned in that meaning it will be patched in 12.1.3 and he'll be able to release his research shortly after. But along with sorry my bad's I'm really still kind of banking on that we're going to see another exploit from Ian Beer of Google Projects Zero. He's the main guy responsible for the main exploits used in last year's iOS 11 jailbreaks, both of them actually, not only the iOS 11.1.2, but the iOS 11.3.1 exploit. So that would be major news if he gives us an update saying that he's going to release his research on an iOS 12 exploit, um, because we really haven't heard anything from him yet as far as iOS 12 exploits goes and he did promise that he was going to release some research in the near future. Anyway guys, just a minor update, TPF0 has been achieved on the latest version of iOS being 12.1.2 on the iPhone XS Max. So that is great news for us in the jailbreaking community that it is possible. And I have to laugh every year at different points throughout the year when times are slow like this, people just give up on jailbreaking, they switch to Android, they complain saying jailbreaking is dead. Um, that is absolutely not the case guys, we just have to be patient. The exact same thing happened last year and look what happened we got two awesome jailbreak utilities out of it and we have one of the best ones in my opinion in a very long time being the uncovered jailbreak it sort of reminds me of the iOS 9.3.3 one by Pangu anyway yes things are slow in the jailbreaking community but I'm sure they're going to pick up very shortly so definitely stay tuned give this video a huge thumbs up if you appreciate these weekly updates and subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest exploits and the latest jailbreaking news. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.